All right, folks, I am finally back. Um, so yeah, shooting this video as I finish a one-month honeymoon with my wife and myself. Uh, yes, we got married about a year ago, but we finally prepared and planned for the for the honeymoon, right? They took all the way, all the way from us from Seattle to Vancouver to, to the, lots of different places in Canada, coming back to Seattle again, right? Ending off the trip. And it was crazy, man, right? There was a lot of firsts in my life that I did. Um, of course, right, we did the usual hiking. I probably did more than a... Uh, 50, 100,000 steps, right? Hiking over different, to close to 10, 15 different trails. Um, some parts I thought my legs were going to burp, go crazy. Um, I did uh, a zip line. I did skydiving. I watched a WWE live event, right? It's a huge bucket list. Um, I had a live baseball event, which went crazy. They really over-delivered because after the baseball event, there were like massive fireworks uh, and it was crazy. Um, there was a lot of driving, right? A lot of driving in US. Uh, bear counters, uh, right? Stargazing, going to nature, so on and so forth. So I just want to share three very quick lessons on the top of my mind uh, as I just reflect a little bit on um, how the honeymoon, yes, right on personal basis was amazing, but how it applied to some of my business life lessons, hopefully it gives you some value as well. Um, I think the first lesson is um, the whole concept of fear, right? Because I think um, back in Singapore, right, back in Malaysia, in the city, um, fear is a lot about, oh, I ho I'm i afraid that people judge me, right? I'm afraid that people make fun of me. I'm afraid of failure. I'm afraid of what society says. And uh, I get it, right? Um, those are fear and our brains always right for survival and we always want to belong. Uh, but I think when I went over to, to the US and Canada, I think I felt so-called what I call real fear in a way. Um, because in Singapore, right, we are pretty lucky. Um, there's not much nature going on in a way um, where there are animals that could potentially attack us anytime. Um, every time we went on a hike, we were actually um, highly recommended to bring what we call bear spray because there have been many, many, many instances where bears will actually come and attack um, people. But hey, right, interestingly, people just still hike. People love hiking. Uh, and we saw bears multiple times and... Um, honestly, if we weren't prepared or if we didn't do the right stuff of what they recommended, uh, we might very well be attacked. As you know that there were multiple instances of attacks, uh, the time, the, the, the areas where we hiked, even during the period of our honeymoon as well. So, so I think when we saw the bear, live bear for the first time, I think that's when I really felt what I call real fear. Um, because while we were walking, the bear actually started following us where we did and it started moving a little bit faster. Um, eventually went off, but I think after the incident, it really got me to realize that that is what I call real fear, right? Where you never know what will happen when a bear is freaking coming towards you. Uh, and when I compared to fears I had about business, about what I do, my side hustles, my content, my marketing, about failing, I realized that these are just like, like perceived fears, but they are real fears as well, right? Same thing when I went for hiking, um, there were times where if we just miss one step, we'll be falling all the way down and people have died, right? Or got injured through those um, um, hikes. So I think that's what I call real fear. So I think it got, just gave me a lot of perspective that a lot of things what we fear in Singapore and Malaysia is not really life or death, like life threatening. So I think um, the big reminder that really helped me as well. Um, I think the second big lesson I learned is really about the power of your environment. So of course, in Singapore, it's mostly the city, right? And mostly by Malaysia, with KL, Penang, right? Mostly in the city as well. Um, what I realized is that because when I was in Canada and US, yes, number one, right? The country is so freaking big that you can't help but to think bigger. But I think there was one night where um, we had a fort we had the 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 fort good fortune, right, to see a whole bunch of stars. Uh, at the I think one of the world's in the the world's first international night park called Waterton, um, and the stars were freaking amazing. I've never seen so many stars in my life for my entire times of life, um, and it really and and learning about what we call the Milky Way galaxies, the planet, and really seeing it for ourselves. Um, I think that was such a humbling experience that I've never felt before. That, um, we are really so small, right? Like not just us as humans, but the Earth, right? Our countries, like. We are so small as compared to everything else that's going out there. That's what the galaxies, the stars, the planets, um, looking at the Milky Way. And it's very hard to explain the feeling. But I think, the, again, it's the environment, right? Where I saw that for multiple nights. And of course, looking at nature and mountains. It just got me to realize that, again, like a lot of times we as humans, we tend to overstate our fear. Um, we overstate our importance into this world. And I'm saying in a great way, right? Because it just shows me that I don't have to overthink too much about what I do because the universe is so freaking big, the galaxy is so big, who cares, right, if I fail, if I don't do badly. Um, and it just gave me a big reminder perspective of how small we are in the world and um, 
just going all for it and not reali and realizing that we don't have to be too afraid to do what we do. So again, it's back down to the environment. Yes, I'm always thinking bigger, but um, I think looking at the, oops, right? Maybe when I did that, maybe when I'm not, right? Um, but looking at the stars, the the nature environment just makes me realize that the world is so freaking big and vast. For so instead of just always thinking about work, business, always thinking about trying to hustle, get the next ten thousand followers and stuff. Um, thinking about how we just all belong in the world, man. Um, I think that's freaking amazing. Again, I can't explain it too much. I might write a post about it in the future, but thought that was great. Um, I think number three is I think the power of over delivering. Um, this is more of a business lesson. So. When um so there's one day we were in Seattle in the city that we went for two big events, a baseball event and a wrestling life event. And both taught me again the power of over delivering. Um the first one was the WWE Life event. Again, I was looking forward to it, it was crazy. But I think they over delivered uh because what 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 happens usually is whatever event is hap uh that I means is televised. After the televised events gone, they were actually even over delivered by giving you even more events and more wrestling matches to watch, which I didn't really have a good idea of. So even after we finished the televised portion of the show, um, they actually added even more matches for us to enjoy and to to just be like, shit, right? I didn't know they'd be having that. And those events are as good as what people would pay like hundreds of thousand dollars for, but they just don't televise it. So again, that's why we call over delivering. Um, when I watched the baseball match and it paid, I think I made like forty, fifty dollars per ticket, which wasn't a lot. Um, yes, the match was crazy. The atmosphere was crazy. The 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 they had freaking hot dogs that they delivered for free from the sky. It was crazy, right? But at the end, there was a unadvertised bonus special where they started having a firework show, and the firework show was so freaking amazing that it was even more impressive than. Uh, and it was just a so-called small time firework show, right? It's not like a big major national event. It's just a baseball game. After that, they just firework show. It was so freaking crazy that it was even more amazing that what I saw in um, the Singapore National Fireworks, the New York Count of Fireworks. And it was just an additional thing. And so again, it, I think it just reminds me about the power of over-delivering on what you promise. And um, that's what they did, right? Of course, sometimes we like to joke that Americans can, can market a lot and promote a lot, but they don't really deliver. But I think when I saw how these events, they over-deliver on what they promised, um, I think that was so inspirational for me, man. So yes, uh, with that, I hope that helps. I am back with content. Uh, I know I have wanted to post more content, honeymoon, but I to be present, right? I want to be with my wife. Uh, but I hope um, you guys got some value from this and I'll see all of you very soon. A lot of exciting updates, upgrades coming up for the community, clients, right? Support the business. Uh, and I'm so excited to be back. So yes, I'll see you very soon. And uh, yeah, have a great day ahead.